about cooling my hair. I saw an email collab. I said, what is this life? Yo, sponsor me, please. See my stomach. Bruh. Who did pay me to do that video job? Broski, what's going on? Do you want me to? Do you want me? Will I carry my two legs and go and meet that person? No. Anything that is stressing you, just push it aside. But I'm the problem, bro. Faded serum. Yo, I'm turning into Jackie Aina a small swan. Will I smell to that person? No. My makeshift tripod. You guys. <laughs> bro, what? I'm the other thing to show me shaggy buff. I'm in grade 11, please, no department. Is this real life? I don't think so. Hold on guys, my room is a hot mess and it's 9 o'clock right now so I just want to clean I'm excited because it's cold and I can't sleep and you know Today is Friday by the way I'm not in school because today is the continuation of the Remembrance Day Yeah First, can you see the back of my hair? This is something new and something different for me. And I made this hair by myself. If you want evidence and you want proof, go to at last me on Instagram. That's my hair page. Book me now if you're in Surrey or you're in like Van not Vancouver because I'm not driving, I'm not coming to Vancouver. But if you're in Surrey, book me. Yeah. <laughs> I've just been saying, I've spent all my money on skincare, I've spent all I have. Bro, I say that like every video. Well, this car contains all the fragrances and everything that I've purchased. I didn't actually purchase it, but you know, like when you shop on Sephora, they give you gifts. I've shopped on Sephora like three times. <sighs> Let's not talk about it. <laughs> the scent is from Vanilla Woods. And it's called the seven so, virtues. Yeah, I think you can see it. This is the sample size. This smells so nice. Both perfumes that I've gotten from Sephora have this vanilla scent to it, and I love it. The only disadvantage of it is that I think bees love vanilla. So when I wore this one, the way it fly was following me. I was like, Brisky, what's going on? Do you want me to? Do you want me? This second scent is from Ellis Brooklyn. It is vanilla milk. It has finished. The other thing here is from Bart E. 
if you're an OG person, this is not fragrance, but if you're an OG person, you know that this, this is the real one. If you watch, I think it was the first vlog on my channel. Bro, my face was covered in this thing. Oh. He needs some milk. I hope I'm not scaring you guys. This is my nightly routine. If you have um pimples or rashes or bumps on your face, this will do the trick. Trust me. <laughs> and this cup is from the dollar store. <laughs> this angle is so bad, you guys. I'm so sorry. This is from my mom. I took it from her. Two perfumes. Yo, I'm turning into Jackie. I know a small small. Like 10 years time, I'll literally have a whole collection of perfumes and I'm so excited for that. If everything around you is scattered, you won't be motivated to stand up and you won't get that energy to work. Self-care revolves around your environment too. Hi guys, so I'm about to brush my feet, brush my feet, brush my teeth. Yeah, brush my feet, brush my, brush my teeth, and take a shower. And I'll see you when I come back from taking a shower. You know, I'll see you later. <laughs> Out of the shower now, and I want to show you guys my skincare routine, my morning skincare routine. Normally, I just go in with my Cosarex all in one cream, but today I want to be extra. The winter season is approaching, so it's best that we use a facial oil to like lock in the moisture. When you're outside and it's cold, your face starts to get flaky and ashy, and we don't want that, right? I purchased ordinary organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil. I just got inspiration from I am Frisayo on YouTube and on Instagram. She uses caffeine solution 5 plus plus EG EGCG. This is like an eye cream. She uses it for her under eyes and I bought it like two weeks ago and I've definitely seen a change in the appearance of my eye box and stuff. Because I said I wanted to be bougie, I'll start on with the niacinamide serum. Yo, sponsor me, please. You will not regret it. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. I did my research and they said it's good to apply the niacinamide on a damp skin. I wish I had one headband so I can just remove this thing because this thing just makes this whole skincare routine look dead so rough. But I had one and if you follow me on Instagram, <laughs> but it just ripped apart. Do not touch your face with dirty hands. Like always clean your hands first before you touch your face. In my last vlog I put a lot of nice in right on my face, like brisky. This thing is like ten dollars or seven dollars. Don't be wasting it. See here and don't let the drop out of your face. And I go in with my caffeine solution for my under eyes. Under of my eyes. She gets she gets it so so I just use this tiny. Can you see it? Can you see that? Yeah, this tiny. Then I'll apply my moisturizer. But anyways, you guys, I said I wanted to clean my hyperpigmentation and my dark spots. And if you look closely you see that my skin has improved it has it has improved my routine for hyperpigmentation is using the top faded serum for like three months now and i've definitely seen a change so i use this in the night because it has one type of smell it's not that bad and it's not that serious and it's not that deep but it has a smell because of the ingredients that I used to make it. So I don't use it in the morning, so I'm not be smelling it like top because we didn't see wrong. But this is an amazing product. Then I go in with is my Cosarex Snail Mixing. Cost was $30 and it's worth the price for. I'm not 
a working beef yes so i have to calm down really on the way i spend and i go in with my facial oil Been a long time since I filmed. It's 2:46 right now. First of all, for breakfast, I eat moi moi and bacon. I know what a combination, but it's only me that can do that. You get. Thank you to Mommy Sophia that made it. Then we need stew, Nigerian beef stew, and a foriro. It's not actually a foriro. It's just spinach and kale. But we're making it into a soup and I made pandu and cheese. If you see my stomach, I eat a new one ashakai to Nigerian consecrators. See the portion of food they eat. That's what I eat, bro. Can you even call somebody? I'm in grade 11, please. No, the one is they just. It's literally just 6 p.m. and it is so dark. Broski. Yeah. That's crazy. Hi guys. I took a nap because as I said before, I was very full. So let's talk about school. If you watched the last vlog, remember I said that um I was taking chemistry, physics, drafting and design and English. Let's start with chemistry and physics, the science courses. I said that I wanted a challenge and bro it has or it was a challenge because I don't want to speak in present tense it was a challenge the thing is that both courses are not hard like the concepts are not hard like nothing is hard but the teachers make it very easy for us to understand but yeah I wasn't getting it I don't know why I don't know why maybe it was pride that made me not to get it because I was really walking into those classes thinking like, oh, I know this thing, I've done it in Nigeria before, like how hard can it be? And bro, those things showed me shaggy above. Physics free, thank God. It wasn't a simple concept that was making me not to understand it. I don't know what happened with physics, but I'm getting better in both courses. In both courses. Now let's move to drafting and design. I attended like three classes and said nah this is not for me drafting and design is related to architecture like, honestly i wanted to be an architect when i was coming to canada like years ago but those dreams and those goals have changed honestly 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 so i attended like three classes then just went to meet my counselor and told her that i could not do that class again that she should just Put me in any other class because if I just drop that class, I'll have a spare, and I didn't see the usefulness of a spare at that time. So I told her to put me in any other available class. So she put me in food 12, and it has been an experience. I love it, I honestly do. Because now I'm not just sitting down and doing nothing because I don't have a spare, but I'm learning how to cook and new recipes things that can help me become a better chef i'm not trying any cheats people who have spares spares are heavily needed especially if you have a heavy workload but me i don't have that yet so why take a spare english english has been fun bro english this is my best english class that's because i'm grasping new concepts our class is literary studies so it's like the higher end of english you know people who, that savvy english people who know english they take that class most recent documentary we watched was something about a mask and it was talking about boys about stereotypes and how they have shaped boys but it's concentrated only in 
in the US or North America and that documentary or movie was so educative bruv like you will not understand why some men or some boys do some things but if you watch that movie that movie is very eye-opening i'll place the title on the screen in our class we analyze and we write texts and stuff and i'm really improving as a writer i'm honestly improving like you can compare the work i did when i entered this class when i entered the class to the work i'm doing right now like there's a huge difference and i'm so grateful for that i have gotten new friends and i'm so happy about that i've formed new relationships but <laughs> bro this is i don't even know how to say this you know like there are black communities in secondary school i want to reach out to every black person like it is my joy to reach out because we can form our own community where we help each other where we are there for each other like, it should be very fun gets but i'm the problem bro people that i can currently see that are black were like 10 in the school and more people came to join us this year so we're definitely more than we used to be i'll see this black person i'll be like damn she's fine will i carry my two legs and go and meet that person no will i smile to that person no why i don't know maybe because i feel like if i smile and they don't smell back it's a big problem i know but it's never as serious it's not even fair because why is it fair i need to stop and start smiling at people i literally need to stop this whole resting face because if you see my resting face in real life you run away i need to smile more or that whole thing that i'm scared of is not real so i should just go bust out of my bubble and talk to them we might not be friends friends but at least we know we got each other like i see you, you see me we locked in you get me yeah i've read over five books this semester and i'm so grateful for that i'm heavily grateful because in i don't know I'm, I'm always referring to my past videos but in one summer days in my life i think i cut out that clip because it was too long and honestly i didn't want any sad type of thing in my video but i was right here leaning in this wall like my vocabulary is getting bad like i don't know what to say this whole like is my it's just part of the way i speak now like i don't sound intelligent i don't sound like somebody that is going to school and i was like it's because i don't read the books it's because i'm always scrolling on instagram and devoting my time to devoting my time to things that would not make me better per se like i should take the initiative to carry a book and read and i've been doing that three like hard copy books i've read i'm currently reading one the first one is um written by a nigerian author i got it in my school library we all we all have wings or it's time to grow your wings something along that line and the second book i read is was really nice it was like a romance book but it wasn't that cliche normal teen romance it was really twist the author made, made it as realistic as possible it was just a really good book i don't remember its name i don't remember their name says i'll put it on the screen then the third book is written by i don't know the author's name but the name of the book is not here to be liked i've read like books on my phone as i saw the top to five my relationship with god is getting stronger in the video that i just watched one christian faith video he was explaining to the audience that in christianity you have to lose something and christianity is going to cost you so you can't decide to just stay with your flesh and be a christian like you can't be lukewarm did it you have to drop something and there has to be evidence that you are following god there has to be evidence that you are not the same person you used to be without god like people don't believe us anybody should see like oh wow see you 
at this point in your life see you now with god has to be a huge difference unless are you really a christian if you are still the same person you were when you were in the flesh that's you carrying your cross dropping those things that do not make you a better christian this is my phase of dropping those things that do not make me a better christian and something i can say that will encourage you to read your bible more is for you to start using the U version bible app but that bible app is so good i've said this before bro I've, it's almost like everything i've seen i've said it before in one of my previous vlogs but the bible app has tricks that strict thing motivates you to read your bible every day because if you miss one day the streak is gone and it's like all your hard work was for nothing so that's a very very important feature and use your version bible this year use it use it thank you so much this month has been so busy for me if you don't know i'm a breeder now so i take clients and i literally want to have money that's my goal i don't have a job yet and i don't think it's smart to have a job right now because of my tight schedule first of all i have to go to school early for leadership one day in a week then i have learning buddies like a tutoring program like twice a week i now have extra curricular activities during the week i still have to volunteer i still have to do stuff I still have my house, like I have to cook and what do you get? I still have school work. So I still have to hang out with my friends. I still have to press my phone. Like I'm not sure putting a job in my schedule will be smart. So I just take clients like those days I'm not going to school and I can just go to somebody's house and make their hair. And honestly it has been working for me. So that's what I'll just continue doing you guys i grabbed my phone i saw an email collab i said what is this life first of all let me check whether the collab is real because what hold on <laughs> bro what let me check on instagram and check whether that's their collab email wait 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 stop i remember I posted a reel in my last reel. I used the Ghana my cellar water to clean. Hello, good day from at Ghana. I've recently noticed your content and we believe it would be great to include you for our latest social media collaboration campaign. Your content matches our tone value and your engagement figures look great. Five free over Burski. Products will be sent to you for you to post with our hashtag and your exclusive discount code to be mentioned during the shout outs. If you are interested in collaborating with us, we would like to know how much you charge per post. Yo, man. <laughs> Thank oh you. Days, what? Is this real life? Is this real life? I don't think so. Good. God, God. Oof, I'm shaking. I'm actually shaking because are you serious? Oh Jesus. <laughs> Stop. I did not expect this. I legit do not expect this one. It is from this big brand. Bro, Garnier. I didn't even <sighs> been messaging a lot of brands. I literally have been, but I never messaged. I didn't even I just, yeah, it's like, God, thank you, God. God, I'm so grateful. First of all, let me even thank God first before I message the brand. Hey, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Let me show you the video. This was my um birthday shoot makeup beat. So, like, I just filmed it because I knew that I wanted to take pictures for my birthday. I said, oh. Let me film it, get ready with me, and let me make it with a twist. Speaking here about, although I knew that I wasn't going to speak here about, but it would be a fun thing to do. So. See, this is the Ghanaian product that I literally used. I just 
Bro, everything happens for a reason. I used this Ghanaian micellar water because there was like mascara on my eyelids. Hi guys, welcome guys, what's going on guys? Um, the last clip we saw was me celebrating my win. Oh my gosh, my first collab email. This is really junk. There's a clip of me checking how authentic the email was. We're not discussing, discussing. They're not send me like contracts. I said, ah, this was serious. Thank God I break it because almost at the end of that contract and it was properly written like something a real lawyer will draft. They were telling me that, oh, you have to pay $80 for delivery. I said, who did pay $80 for delivery? And I replied to them, I said, hello, I saw a, let me even read what I said. I said, hello, I noticed a line in the contract that asks for the influencer to pay some of $80 for delivery. I said, can it be removed for the flat fee? The flat fee is basically what they will pay me to post their content. So I said that, let it be removed. So the money will just come to me, like the net income flat fee, then they will remove $80 from me they will just pay me what is remaining. They now said that, hello, we appreciate your efforts on this collaboration campaign process. We don't take care of delivery services as a brand, therefore we cannot deduct the shipping fee from your payment. I now started to notice, because from that first statement, what do you mean by we appreciate your efforts on this collaboration campaign process? Which efforts? I'm just grateful for like all my experiences and everything I've done that has gotten me here so far. Because Chief Fibs posted one video like a year ago on how she was scammed by a nigerian brand and like, i can remember her saying that if a brand is asking you to pay for their shipping that brand is not legit because you're asking somebody to do something for you but yeah you are making it a long thing and why do i have to pay they checked on google how do you support fake collaboration emails they now said that if the company's email and with at gmail.com that that is very suspicious i said reason this because i've messaged brands before i've used their influencer and collaboration emails and it always ends in their brand name for example google recipe i don't know how it ends in as an illustration it ends in like pr at recipe.com or collaboration at recipe.com i'm not like why are they ending their own email in at gmail.com with agents you didn't buy me. I just messaged them like 30 minutes ago and said that I've made on my decision since I wasn't able to verify the authenticity. See, will, since I wasn't able to verify the authenticity of this collaboration and I have doubts, I'll be moving forward. Jesus. Did I say please? Hey, go do, go do. I made a mistake. Oh, I thank God I think this thing because I would have never seen this. I'll be moving forward without this partnership. Once again, thank you for your time. Imagine I was like so excited and I didn't even read the contracts. And I would have signed and paid $80 to this fake thing. First of all, I was like, how did they contact me? I'm not trying to downplay myself, but how did they see me? I've never tagged this have never reached out to them. So how come they reached out to me? Like, such a big brand, which imagine Pensy Skin reaching out to me right now at this very point in time, like right now, like what? Before I begin the installation, make up if you put your makeup on picture. This is my makeshift tripod, you guys. It's giving innovative big woman and tech don't kill the girls. Hi guys, get ready with me, get ready with me to go nowhere. So this um video is actually supposed to be like a B-roll. So I'm not supposed to be talking, but I don't know what I'm talking. I don't know what I'm talking.
the end of this vlog is me doing a special thing this is my page on instagram and i just posted a new reel so you guys please go like comment share comment because that's really really important yeah and what well, since we're on the topic of self-care and mental health i want to delete instagram from my phone buff i'm actually going to do it see i do this every two weeks so honestly it's not that big of a deal delete peace of mind or remove anything that is making you stress that just cancel them out of your life this week as we're entering this new week that is my word for you anything that is stressing you just push it aside so thank you guys for watching thank you guys for staying with me it's like 11 34 p.m right now and summer is sunday have a great week ahead and thank you for watching this video up until now blessings kisses bye god loves you and i love you too have a nice week